Hello everyone, this is Man2 here, here for my first ever DVD review. Today we are doing Classic Media's presentation of Godzilla Raids again. And uh, first let's go over the movie. Uh, let's see. Um, yes. Here, I'll read the back of the box because it's, it's pretty accurate. Godzilla is back, and this time he's not alone. While scouting the seas for schools of fish, young pilot Tosiko Tosikuka, oh God, and Kobayashi encounter Godzilla and the spiny monster Anguirus in a hated battle on a small Japanese island. The two beasts tumble into the ocean and soon resurface in Osaka laying waste to the city in a fight to the death. As the destruction mounts, the two heroes must muster their courage for the final showdown with Godzilla. And, uh, and that's a pretty accurate description of what happens in the movie. The movie itself, for both versions, let's say, well, the story is really not that interesting, but none of the early Godzilla movie human stories are. But it does hold your interest long enough to to wait for the real highlight of this movie, which is the monster fight. And uh, this whole monster fight that's depicted in this movie is amazing, especially for the first ever monster fight that Toho ever did. And, uh... Oh, crap. Uh... I'm sorry that I'm mumbling, stumbling today. I'm just, I haven't really... You know, like... I don't even know anymore. I don't know what's wrong with me. But, uh... And the monster fight really is cool and it's it's the way they fight is very animalistic and it's very fast and you know it's, it's cool it's good and the entire city is destroyed in the process and this is really where people get the idea that like this is what spawned the idea that, oh yeah, they always fight in a giant city. When really in most of the show series, they end up fighting in like a field or something. Like a mountain range. It wasn't until the Heisei and Sensei series, I probably butchered that too, did they start destroying cities again. And, uh... Yeah. Now, the U.S. version is actually more entertaining because of just the sheer strangeness of it with its peculiar dialogue and peculiar dialogue, superfluous narration, and monster name changes, which Anguirus really, you know, is the same, but Godzilla's name is Gigantus. In fact, the commentary, which is very nice, and it's, on, it's only on, this, on the US version, which I really would have liked to see on the Japanese version, but whatever. See one on the Japanese version, but whatever. As he says, it's... We have the Angus family of fire monsters, and the Gigantus monster of the Angus family. And then later there's the Gigantus object. And actually in the first time he, you know, says it, Dr. Yamane mistakenly refers to Gigantus as Angurus. But, of course, G Angurus and Gigantus are really Angulus and Godzilla. So it's all very, very confusing. And that is a direct quote from the very, 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 very entertaining audio commentary on the U.S. version, Gigantus the Fire Monster. Which they didn't say. It says, it all, it says Godzilla Raids again for both. Probably because, I mean, if they had kept it, that might, you know, made some fans mad.
Don't know. Because they really like Godzilla Reads again. And, uh... Yeah. On to the DVD. The special features for this disc are, and it's one disc, it's not two, but still. The special features are English subtitles, and Japanese version of the film, I don't really count those. Audio commentary with Steve Rifle and Friends. Slideshow of original movie posters. Art of suit acting featurette. Japanese runtime version, uh, I don't need to go over that. But these special features. The audio commentary, as I said, is very entertaining. And you should definitely watch it if you buy this, buy or rent this DVD. The slideshow of movie post, original movie posters is interesting for people who like that sort of thing. I'm not, myself, I'm not a big fan of it. And the art of suit acting feature is very good and very informative. If you liked the making of the Godzilla suit and Godzilla story development featurettes from the Gojira DVD, you will definitely enjoy this one. Now, onto the box. Uh, it's very nice. It's actually very nice. There's no actually way to clip these together. And when you open it, it makes this crinkly sound. It's not because it, you broke it. It's just because it's very, very crisp. The plastic or like stuff that it's made out of on the spine is very very crisp and if if actually if you if you just mix this sound when you open it up for the first time that's a good sign overall i'd give the movie the dvd this the whole package i'd give it five godzillas it's all very entertaining and it's available for a very good price of I think it's uh, $15, possibly $20, i am not sure. And you should definitely pick it up if you get a chance. This is The Man 2 signing off, saying... Uh, I'm going to G-Fest. Be there. I'll be there too.